Welcome back guys and today we will be taking a look at Android gaming on the Rose Apple Pie. Today we will be seeing how three of the most demanding Android games perform on the Rose Apple Pie. Our first game is Modern Combat 5, one of the very few good first person shooters that we have on the Android Play Store. The Power VR SGX544 GPU does a pretty good job of handling the game. The textures render well and the game was definitely more than playable. The GPU was able to maintain constant frames throughout the gameplay providing a great overall experience. Our second game is Real Racing 3. This game is considered by many as the best realistic racing game in the market and is also on the heavier side in terms of hardware requirements. Because of this, the GPU was not able to render the game at max detail and it is easily noticeable that the details were toned down a bit. When the game started, frames dropped noticeably, making me wonder whether this game was playable at all. But after a few seconds, the FPS catches up and the game is actually playable. Also, anti-aliasing did its job and most of jittery lines and edges were smoothened out, making the game look great if not awesome. Our third and final game is everyone's favorite Asphalt 8. This game by far is the best racing game for smartphones with stunning graphics, visuals and gameplay. But all of this comes at a cost. It requires extremely top end hardware to run this game at max settings. Sadly, the Power VR SGX 544 GPU on the Rose Apple Pie is not powerful enough. The game is just playable but with small lag and random jitter throughout. The graphics look considerably toned down and anti-aliasing is completely missing, making the graphics look very very edgy. That being said, the Rose Apple Pie actually did perform better than what I had expected considering that the Power VR HGX 544 is an older GPU and not exactly a top end one. Also the Rose Apple Pie's GPU needs a lot of work on its software side. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching, like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time.